हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ डेवलपर्स एंड कोडर्स क्लब एंड आई पी अगर सो हियर वी विल बी सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर बी ऑफ एजुकेशनल कोड फोर्सेस राउंड 159 एंड द टाइटल ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज गेटिंग पॉइंट्स सो लेट्स रीड आउट द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम मनोकार्प इज अ स्टूडेंट एंड he has to get some points in order to pass out so here's the description of the question here it is mentioned that there are two ways to earn points first by completing practical tasks second by attending lessons uh, for each practical task he fulfills he gets p points and for every lesson lesson he attends he gets l points and there's a uh, there is at least p points he has to earn and here it is mentioned that practical tasks are unlocked each week like first on day 1 then on day 8 then on day 15 like that so here one more important thing is that he can uh, do at most two task in one day so the maximum point which he can get is if he attends a lesson that day and does two task that's it now you have to find out some way such that you can get that required p time in minimum time so that he can rest maximum so how will we do it let's read out the input first so here it is simply number of test cases here pc and then four integers m p l and t n is number of days p is the points you got to earn and l is the points for attending one lesson and t is for completing one task so how will we do this question so just think what do you have to do uh if you want to rest you will prefer to let the, those practical tasks accumulate and do the, those two on one day to take the least time right otherwise if you think you can do on day 1 and day 8 then you will be taking two days right so best will be if you do it at eighth day so, uh, so you have to do it just once in one day actually so basically in this problem you have to try to figure out some way such that you can know that how how to use those days like if you have to get some points right and you have eight day now in which day you can earn the maximum point day eight now you have to check if the points that you earn on eighth day is enough or not if not enough then you have to take the normal days in count too uh just suppose if it was 15 then eighth day would be the best one what would be the second best one day number 15 because you can do the practical task that day and get some extra points the same day and then if if still you need more points then you have to attend the normal classes so basically it is simple now you have to just know how to code that and that's the most complex part of this problem and it has two ways to do it one is normal math and other is binary search i will be showing you the math one and you have to figure out binary search by yourself so here is the code for math one so here in this code we have simply taken the input first so after taking input you have to know the p day is like the days in which you can get the maximum point so how many such days will 
occur so simply this is a simple formula you can generate it is simple like wait i'll show you how so if you are getting points just suppose on day 1 you are getting one right on day 8 then on day 15 so on first day simply with this formula you will get p day 1 and then with uh, every every seven other day get just adding one now q day is the day with the second highest point now p day takes uh two out of this so here is some formula to get exactly the value of p day and q day p day is highest p day q day second highest p day now normal day you simply don't need in it in don't need it in prob now now here see how many points you can earn if you work you attend classes and do those tasks on p days so here is p point q point now simply i have checked here if p point is greater than c uh, that means the maximum point that you can earn if it is greater than c then simple this formula would get you the number of days but if it is not then you have to work all p day p day just refers to maximum p day so you have to work all p day to get this uh get the maximum points deducted from that p now you need uh some more points so you have to work on the q day now after working on q day 2 if you still need more points then here you have to take the normal days in count too and in the end you have to just subtract the number of working days to the total days and you will get your answer the number of free days and that's it it looks a little complex but if you just focus a little on it then you will see that it is simple just a little bit of mathematics but i am sure that the binary search way will be way easier for you to at least write that would take just the understanding and implementation here you have to generate some formulas which are a little complicated if you see at first and that's it for this question thank you for watching